is in depth to say this morning, we've got a full house. Thank God for it. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you need my seat, why you can have it. Uh, God has blessed us richly, and there are a lot of places that I see that I don't know, but I want to welcome you all for being here. I uh, hope that you enjoy being here as much as I do. Because God has blessed us richly to be able to be in the house of God tonight. Uh, any announcements need to be made? The spring festival is April the 20th. <clears throat> starts at 10 o'clock till 4, I think. Uh, if you know anybody that wants to set up, and be a vendor and set up a booth, you can contact Joyce or Charlotte. Anybody that wants uh, old cars or anything, they can contact Marvin. Uh, Marvin needs more prizes for um, to give away for his uh, old cars and stuff. We're going to have a silent auction. We're going to have a bake sale. So we need the ladies in the church to bake cakes, cupcakes, pies, whatever. Uh, there's a sign up paper up front for your favorite drink. Uh, 24 pack random. They put them in Joyce's truck or Rocky's. Uh, and then the community revival starts April the 24th at 7 o'clock at the school. And this Wednesday, the 17th, is the outreach week. Yes. Anything else? Yeah, Robert's got something to say there. We want to invite everybody else starting May, the first services. Yeah. May and Wednesdays. We're going to have what we call wonderful Wednesdays. It's going to be different preachers, different teachers, a little bit. We just want to encourage you to try to come out on Wednesdays. And so, if you want to see something exciting, come here and be with us on Wednesdays. That's right. It's good. Anything else? All right. Boys, you want to come take up the morning talk? Lord, we come to you, God, thank you for another opportunity to be in your house. Pray, God, for those this morning that can give and those that can't. And God, those that's dedicated their money to you, Father, I pray that you just help them and bless them in their work and their pay, that they can just help the church, God. We know those that's dedicated their hearts and money to you. We thank you for all you've done, what you're going to do. We pray for this hour, God, that you know the very need. Give me before I failed you, before I've come short. In Jesus' name. And amen. Amen. Come on, let's make the choir.
everybody out this morning. Thank the Lord for what God's doing and what He's going to do. Amen. Amen. Ain't you glad you're in the house of the Lord this Amen. morning? Amen. 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 Thankful for everybody here. Good to see Terry with us this morning. Amen. I think last Sunday at this time she was in the hospital. Let's give God a hand. Amen. Get right into the service. Thank God while the spirits are rolling. And I'm going to ask our brother here, if he will, to play a little Amazing Grace. I asked him, and just whatever we need to do, amen. And we got singers with us this morning. Glad to have them in the house. <laughs> Good, brother. into something, so he <laughs> asked me if they sang, I said of course, and so here we are, but we're so thankful to be right. here, um, that's this is Natalie and Cheyenne, and this is Cheyenne's nephew Caleb, and this is Jesse, her brother-in-law, and I'm Colby, we're just so thankful to be here this morning. Yeah, bless you, Lord. I'm walking on with Jesus and I'm
give them another hand. Thank you. Thank you. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time it went out, right? The first time they went out to sing. Amen. That's good. Amen. I, I appreciate young people that's stepping out. I'm going to tell you right now, God's going to bless you. Amen. 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 You just keep your little hand in his big hand. You keep singing. Keep being nervous. I apologize because we shouldn't have Mike sit over here. I didn't know how he was going to go. And Kobe didn't sing loud enough. But I'll get him a next round. <laughs> and uh, I'm thankful for this family. Yeah. Amen. The, the worship family has, has really been a blessing to me. And uh, I appreciate Charlie. Uh, he's out at the Dutch Valley Church where Charlie's at and, and Chris Warsham. Everybody in here knows Chris Warsham. And uh, I don't know about everybody knows Charlie, but they're the two. And I appreciate this family. I'm going to preach for just a minute this morning if I can. Amen. Just for one second. And I'm glad the hype ain't been told, no, ain't you? <laughs> amen. And I'm glad too, amen. When we repent, I, I'm thankful that our sheet of paper it's clear. Ain't you? Can I get a witness? Amen. Well, whenever you repent, amen, ain't you glad? Ain't, you better be glad. I, I know how my life's been. I'm glad, amen. I wouldn't want my life to be put on screen this morning. Amen. I, 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 Brother Robert said that this morning. He said, if no, everybody's seen my life this morning, nobody listened. I told him I'd listen to him because he's repenting. Amen. He's got a clean sheet of paper. How many is glad you've got a clean sheet of paper? Amen. This morning. And I'm going to read just for a minute. Uh, in John chapter 10, in verse 10. I may, I may have even read this scripture not too long ago, but I'm going to go in a different, uh, it's a different ball game this morning. Amen. And, and so uh, it's good to see the house full this morning. John 10 and verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I've come that they might have life, that they might have it more abundant. Amen. That's all I feel like reading. I, I, well, Wednesday night, actually it started last Sunday night, we had a Sunday morning, we had a good service, Sunday night we had a good service, had two people saved Sunday night, <coughs> then Wednesday night it just went right over into the Wednesday night service, and, and we come doing our, we're going to have our plans, but God had his plan, and we just had a wonderful, wonderful service uh, Wednesday night, and, and I'm hoping this morning that when you leave here, that you'll say, God has blessed me this morning. You can't look at the preacher. Amen. You can't look at the crowd. You can't look at who's around you, mama or daddy or your brothers. Look at what God has got for you to do this morning. And if there's anything this morning we need, pray for me just a minute and I'm going to get out of here. Amen. If there's anything we need this morning, it's to get a grip. Amen. On sin. Amen. With, with, the, with this world we're living in, amen, and, uh, and it's told every time since like behind the pulpit anymore no matter who you listen to where you go, what service you're in uh, the man of God would have to say uh, uh, we're, we're, we're living in a rough time right now uh, amen, uh, but listen to me uh, dad made a statement Wednesday night, uh, we got to learn to live right, well that stirred in my heart, he probably don't even remember what he said, amen, but it began to stir in my heart, uh, amen you've got to learn how to live right, can I get a witness, uh, Amen. Whenever you was born, amen, into this world, you was born into sin. Amen. It ain't nobody, hear me now, it ain't nobody got to tell you to lie. It ain't nobody got to tell you to do this or do that or be hateful or stay mad. Listen, Hunter's got a little girl here this morning. There's more little kids in here this morning that's in the care of their mom and dad or mama, papa, ain't your uncle. Listen, you're not going to have to teach them how to be sneaky and how to do wrong. Amen. That's uh, all right. You was all been there. Amen. Uh, you ain't going to have to teach them. Amen. To go against the word of God. Amen. Uh, but hear me this morning. The world's teaching them. Amen. Uh, just exactly uh, the way the world wants them to go. I heard a survey was done. Uh, pray for me now. If I don't get some more, I'll sit down. I heard a survey that was done on China. Hey, hear me now this morning and China owns the TikTok 
amen, that it's running, amen, and in China, on TikTok, China is giving the China people, Chinese people, they're teaching them how to do better, they're teaching them, uh, they're, they're making them smarter, uh, they're teaching them to learn and to work uh, by TikTok, and the survey was done, what they pop into their country, and what they pop into the United States, and it, it said in the United States, all the American people want is sex, drugs, amen, alcohol, all they want is sin, the party life, and they're calling it the good life, amen, that's what they're popping in, we're getting just what we want, amen, and all that we, our young people think about, and now it blows my mind, people have been married for 40 years, and they decided they don't love nobody no more, they're going to go get them somebody else, amen, it just blows my mind, a pack coffee, a how that you can stay with somebody for 40 years and the grass buds up on the other side a little greener and then all at once you based your life around that woman or man and then all at once it looks better on the other side of the fence. I'm telling you right now, they sin in the camp. Amen. It won't work that way. God's not going to bless. The devil has got to listen. He's come, to, he's come as a thief and the thief being the devil this morning, he's come to steal, he's come to kill, and he's come to destroy you. And then he don't want you alive, he wants you dead, and then he don't want you in the church, he don't want the young people singing this morning, he don't want the old people singing this morning, the middle age, he don't want nobody to praise God, he'd rather you just sit there and look at the preacher this morning and shake your head and never say amen or oh me, amen, and people are just drying up and they're falling away to nothing and they look around and they say well I just didn't like it down there no way <laughs> and the devil is coming in and stealing and destroying in a way hear me now I'm not putting down on the phones I'm not putting down on computers I'm not putting down on TV but I'm going to be honest basketball season's over now and I just soon go home right now amen and unplug my TV amen and not watch another game till football season starts amen that's just me it ain't nothing on there worth watching amen and listen I'm going to tell you it's dragging our kids and our people and then right straight, right straight to hell this morning. You've got to learn how to live. Amen. You've got to learn how to live right. You've got to know which way to go. And we're living in an ignorant world. Amen. This morning, we're teaching everything about what you... Hey, hear me. This kid, that blows my mind. Hey, was he... We sell axles and we sell cars and we sell trailers. People are coming out here and they don't even know which side the lug nut goes on. Amen. Hello, come on now. Amen. What is wrong? Amen. We're, we're living in a time. Amen. My youngin, whenever she, this has been. 10, 15 years ago, whenever she showed cows in 4-H, that we took her cow to the show day in Granger County. Amen. And they said, Greg, will you bring her over and let the kids see her? They'll walk through the line and say, man, is that a sheep? <laughs> Does that cow give black milk? Amen. <laughs> Come on now. And we took her to Knoxville. And all them little kids, they bring them in by the bus loads. I was standing there in a maiden. Is that a sheep? You know what I said? Yeah, it's almost half between a cow and a sheep. And it makes this. Amen. I'm telling you right now, we're living in an illiterate world. All they know is what's in front of them. And the mom and daddies ain't... Ain't raising their kids no more. They're letting the Facebook raise them. They're letting TikTok raise them. They're letting everything get a grip on them. In this world, they'd rather give them a computer as they send them outside and let them get a little dirt on them and play in the mud. And then they're afraid they'll get wet if it's raining. Lock the door. Leave them out there. It won't hurt them. I'm telling you right now. We need to get back to God and get a grip, amen, on which way we need to go. Amen. Upside down, we don't know which way to go. And I'm going to tell you the reason we don't know which way to go this morning is because we've left the Word of God. 
we listen, we want it our way. We want to go, we want the easy way. And listen to me this morning. The easy way it looks like is the devil's way. Hear me this morning, just for a minute, and I'm going to get out of here. Amen. Some people say, hey, where did the devil come from? He come right out of heaven with a third of his angels. Amen. And I and I was listening to something, and I began to think, Amen. Whenever trouble comes, there's one devil, but there's two angels. It's good. Amen. That'll pull you out of that. Amen. Because he left with a third of his angels out of heaven. I hear this morning, and he's come to as a thief to destroy you, to kill you. Amen and to steal from you. And if there's ever a time, amen, that we need to be in the battle of God, it's right now. Amen. amen. For there is no battle. For the, there is no love. And for there is no fear. And where there is no conviction, there is no salvation. Amen. One thing wrong with the world today is there's no fear of God. Amen. And there's no fear of mom and dad. I, now, hear me now. And I know I'm alive before the, before the world this morning. That's all right. I don't care. I'm going to tell the truth. Amen. Amen. And I remember when I was growing up. Amen. Uh, we farmed all of our life. And dad would tell me to do something. He'd say, go out there and hold that backer. He'd tell me, Lee, and I, Justin, when he's pig, he didn't have to do much yet. <laughs> he said, go out there and hold his backer. Amen. And me and Lee, would be out there. And we'd be a pope, we'd be a hole in that backer. Amen. Every now and then, me and Lee, Ed, we might go this way and get to the end of the row. Anybody ever trying to short shanks or pipe trying to work? I know you think, but I did. Amen. I know you done it just exactly the way the Bible says. Said, doing, obey your parents in your days to be long. Everybody in here has done that. But, but I have made a few mistakes in my life. And, I, and I'd go around, I'd leave some of them old morning doors, I'd leave some of them old weed. Amen. Not knowing at the end of the day that Pap Dad was going to come by. And he's going to look down that road. He said, Uh huh, you boys ain't been doing what I told you to do. And hear me now. And he would take his belt off and he'd strike my hind. Amen. And, I, that's all right. You look down on you want to, but I thank God for every whooping He gave me. Amen. If He hadn't whooped me, Amen, I'd be in jail today. And, and thank God I'm not there. Amen. And He'd strike my honey. Amen. He'd pull that leather belt off. He'd say He'd lie every time. This is going to hurt me worse than it does you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he'd lie every time He'd say that. I hope He's repenting, Hunter. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Bless God. If He's anything. Now we go to school. Then you can't find a paddle in Washburn High School. You can't find a paddle in Gibbs High School. And then they stand you in a the corner. They tell you, they tell you, and then say, say, I'm sorry three times looking at the wall. What good is it going to do you telling the wall you're sorry? Amen. I'm telling you right now, it's time we get a grip on this thing. There's going to have to be a few men of God. Well, I feel like preaching now. There's going to have to be a few men of God stand up before the world and tell the world like it, lump it, bump it, or jump it. This is the way it's got to go. Amen. If it hurts your feelings, if it makes you mad, if you pout and quit, that's between you and God. But somebody's got to stand. There's got to be a church somewhere that stands against sin. It's time. Amen. The church calls it what it is and quits babying everybody. Well, glory. Amen. We don't, we've got our kids so messed up. They don't know what bathroom to go in. They shouldn't live no more bathrooms. There's a boys and a girls. It shouldn't be nobody else's. I'm telling you right now, if you was born a girl, you'll be a girl when you die. If you was born a man, you'll be a boy or a man when you die. Hear me now. And you ain't going to change what God's made. Amen. I'm going to hurry we're going to get out of here. <laughs> it's time we get a grip. Let me say something right now. Beating and whooping is two different things. Amen. Right? 
When I got my hiney busted that leather strap, if I pulled my britches down to my knees on my fruit of balloons, they'd be straps. <laughs> There's a difference in beating yeah. and boiling. Amen. 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 Now we've raised up a bunch of panties, a bunch of kids. Amen. <coughs> Listen, it's been a long time ago it was said the United States will fall and that there'll never be a shot fired. Look out your window this morning and how many they say that the stuff they're putting in our food now is making boys more feminine. It's okay. You don't have to believe a word I'm saying. They, I know you do. I know you do. They say it's making us more. We're losing our muscle. Amen. And they're making us, they're making us weak. I see man sitting back there right now saying, I'm not weird. <laughs> That's because you're sitting there pumping in that arm. But hear me, man, if you ain't got God, you're weak. Right. Yeah. Amen. I don't care how big your arm is. <laughs> I don't care how much arm you pump. I don't care how many laps you run. Listen to me this morning. Without God, you're weak. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can, whenever I was running around, Robert, I'd stay in that old backer barn. Amen. I'd be in there day in and day out. Uh, we, we'd work all night sometimes. Amen. I didn't have no big muscles at that time. Uh, but, but Sam, you know what I'm fixing to say. I was just as strong as the one was a pump in the arm. And, and some of them say, oh, you look your big pretty buff six packs. And then they didn't skewer me one bit. I was way tougher than they was. Amen. <laughs> I'm telling you because you got it. Amen. Oh, and them girls hit back their little eyes. Oh, ain't he got that six pack. <laughs> Kids ain't hearing me this morning. <laughs> Being strong, amen, is not like what the eye encounters. Amen. Now I know you like to have a big muscular man. <laughs> all these all, all these little girls. All these little girls in here. Oh, they, they, they like to have the one that hit the three-point shot. You know anything about basketball coaches? Yeah, yeah you, I know a boy that played college basketball. He was a good ball player, not taking one thing from him. Matter of fact, he could have went on and made a big time. Amen. He hit one shot in a game. Amen. He played on the team all year long. But he hit one shot, one big shot in the time of a game, and it had destroyed his life till today. We're losing our grip. We're, we're, we're following. We're, we're teaching our young people. Amen. And here's the thought of what moms and dads say. You've got to work smarter and not harder. Here's what I say. Quit work and you'll live to be about 40. That's okay. You just don't have to agree with one thing I'm saying. But one of these days when you're looking back in time, you'll say that foolish man that stood up there on the Sunday morning, amen, and he said, you go home, do nothing, Listen, we was designed, our bodies was designed to work because sin come into the garden. And our bodies was worked to sweat. And listen, I sweat when I work. Amen. When I give it all I got. And I, I would be a failure if, to myself if I come in here and couldn't preach with power pack coffee. Amen. And not sweat a little bit for God. Amen. I'm telling you right now. Amen. It ain't about to sweat. But I'm telling you, we ought to put all we can in it. God would requires of us. It's time us Christian folk, amen, stand up, hold hands and band together. It's time we stand up, amen, and say in God we trust. Amen. The United States was founded on God, and I'm going to stick with God. It don't matter what the leaders say. I'm staying with the winning team. And listen, amen, you become weak. The greatest people that's ever been. You see people's afraid of our armed forces, but when we bear 
bail out of Israel. Come on now. Amen. Whenever you say, oh, that's just bailing out of Israel. Uh, we're big and we're strong. Uh, when you bail away uh, from God's chosen people, uh, write it on the wall. You have just become weak. Amen. And you are just fixing to fall. Amen. Uh, hear me this morning. If we don't get a grip and we don't learn how to live, hey, I've got to crucify the flesh. Amen. I've got to day by day. And hallelujah. It's been months, six weeks ago. Amen. I had a little run in. Sometimes I believe the Lord just tries me. I had a little run in with somebody. Amen. Nothing to do with nothing. Amen. And dad witnessed it. Amen. I want to say this. And dad witnessed it. I called dad. I said, hey dad, if I wasn't in my position, I could take care of our problem. Amen. I could take care of it in just a minute. Dad said, oh, wait a minute. Amen. You can't do that. Amen. But I said, if I hear me, the fleshly side of Greg begin to think. Amen. And I thought, listen, I could take care of this whole thing if I wasn't standing in the position I'm standing in. Amen. And, and do it and not be scared. I'm telling you right now, I had to crucify the flesh because, hey, hear me now, I know me. Amen. Better than anybody knows me. Bob, things begin to run through my mind. Amen. And I thought I'd want to tear down what it's took me 10 years to build by just one, just two minutes of conflict, Sam. I'm going to tear everything down that I'm building right here. And the devil was sitting on one corner and the Lord was on the other corner. Amen. And the devil said, one lick won't hurt you. And the Lord said, Greg, I love that man just like I love you. Amen. Amen. And I began to ponder. And I said something else to Dustin about it. Not mentioning no names of who it was. But I began to ponder. And it began to eat at me. I run into it. Hear me. He hollered at me. I ain't got to tell Dad this or nobody else. He hollered at me. He said, hey, come here. And I walked to him and we give each other a hug. Hmm. I found it odd that my computer was going this way. The day he hugged me, Bob, I went down to my altar. <laughs> I walked right down and I got up with it on my mind of, oh, I'm, I'm all, I'm dirty, I'm dirty. Just one word. <laughs> Had it on my mind, I walked right down to my altar since. And I walked right down my altar. Now I begin to pray. And I said, God, you know this situation. Will you please help me and him uh, lie in this out? Amen. I had to get a grip. Amen. And I'm telling you right now. Amen. Uh, we made everything right. And matter of fact, we told each other we loved each other. It was all over foolishness. Amen. And I'm going to tell you this morning. Amen. I didn't know I was going to say this. Uh, but if you've got conflict uh, between one or another, and you've got conflict in your family, you've got conflict with your neighbor. Amen. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. It's foolishness. Amen. I heard the Sunday school teacher tell me this morning whenever he began to preach the gospel this morning. He said love covers everything. He said if you are, if you love God, you'll love your neighbor even if they do you wrong. Amen. And I began to think I had to get a grip. But I bless God. We're good. It was over foolish stuff in Anyways, amen. Uh, but we're, uh, I, praise God, i got to hurry. i got to hurry. Amen. Uh, hear me now. I don't want to hold you too long. They say it about me. This is about Jesus. Uh, but hear me. Uh, there was a few men in the Word of God. Amen. That had to just say, here I am. And I'm going to tell you, amen, before we can get a grip and learn how to live for God, amen, you're going to have to say these three words. Here I am, Lord. Uh, use me. Amen. It's not my name you can use for me. It's not my mother or my brother no. or my sister. It's me, Lord. Use me. And if we'll get, well, glory. If we'll get where we need to be with God, I believe with all my heart, we're just a few Sundays of having to sit in the choir. Amen. I believe with all my heart, we're just a few Sundays. I believe it can come. We ain't got no parking. I know that. But can I tell you this morning, give us just a little bit longer. It's coming. 
coming. Amen. I know we ain't got no parking. If I've got to get some men of God to go out in the parking lot and tell you which way to go and park your car, you get to the church. We'll park your car. We'll take it down to the store. We'll bring it back and get you. I want you to understand this morning that God's wanting to do a miraculous thing. But we got to get a grip. I'm not satisfied with a house full. I want more. The world needs Jesus. I need Jesus. Your family needs Jesus. It's time the United States gets a grip. It's time the men of God that's standing behind the pulpits this morning buckles up. Amen. And quit being babies and tell the people, hear me. We quit telling everybody that the world's going to end. Now the scientist is coming in and they're doing the preacher's job and they're saying something's about to happen. Hey, something kind of force uh, because the men of God uh, over the majority of the world, uh, they don't like what I preach. Uh, they don't like living right. Uh, hear me now. I'm glad to be here. I'm going to hurry uh, and we're going to get out of here. Have I bored you yet? Uh, yeah. Amen. Give me just a minute. Yeah. Have I got two more minutes? Uh, have I got ten more minutes? Hallelujah. Come here, devil. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> hear me. Uh, I want you to understand uh, the Lord wants to help uh, and the Lord wants to bless uh, and the Lord wants to touch. Uh, he wants to work in you. Amen. This morning. Hey, listen. This marvelous Wednesday's coming up. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. We're going to help you get to Jesus. We're going to help you be soul winner. It's, oh, hallelujah. I feel like preaching. Amen. I want you to understand. Amen. It's my job to preach the gospel and tell you which way to go. It's my job. But hear me. It's your job, church, to get them here where I can tell them how to go. Amen. I was working yesterday. Missy is about to kill me. And then there's a truck pulled up. He said, hey, what are you doing? I said, working. What are you doing? Amen. I didn't know who he was. I hadn't never seen him before. And then he said, I'm having trouble. I can't get my PTO shack on my bush hog. Will you go put it on for me? I said, well, of course I'll put it on for you. Amen. He said, well, get in the truck. I cut my lawnmower off. I ain't never seen that man before in my life. I cut my lawnmower off. Amen. I cut it off. I, I, I jumped up in that truck. I said, oh Lord, this is a clean truck and I'm awful dirty. He said, it won't hurt nothing. He said, let go. I said, where's it at? He said, it's right down yonder. Amen. I went down there. Amen. I missed in the keys. You know, I don't know if you know the keys or not, but praise God, if they pulled up to her, she'd still be running. <laughs> <laughs> hear me this morning. She said, Daddy, ain't you what? He, she said, Daddy, what world are you in? What, what is the date of the world? It's 2024. She said, I read about people like that all the time. She said, well, I've got 360 on you. Maybe I can find you. <laughs> Me and him went down to, to his house. I put his PTO shaft on. I said, I'll walk back, brother. You don't have to take me. I turned around, made about five or six steps. I turned back around. I said, hey, who you going to church in? <laughs> he said, I go to a little Baptist church. I said, well, I know if you didn't, I pastored one over on the other side of the mountain. I sure would like to have you. That boy with me, that works with me, he don't go to church. We started to pull out, and there's another fella working. And I thought, man, I started driving. I, I drive right by him. Hey, you know how I am. I, it, he, it, that old fella was a working. He, he was an old black man. He was he was a sealing the pavement over there. I, he said he couldn't find no help. Amen. I, and when I went by him, I, I, I said, now, I've got plenty of cold drinks over there if you want one. And we I started to pull out. Hey man, the Robert, and he was standing over there, and I just stopped. And I said, hey, I got out of the truck, and I said, you want something to drink? Hey man, he, he said, no. Nah. I said, now, I've got plenty of cold drinks. He said, well, yeah, give me something. I said, well, you want a Mountain Dew, hey man, or water? He said, well, I'll give me some juice. I said, well, I ain't got no juice, but I can give you a Mountain Dew. If you <laughs> hey man, I said, hey. <laughs> I prayed this, Verlin, that God would give me people that I could bring them to church. Amen. I said, hey, where you go to church? He said, I don't go. 
I said, well, there's a little church up the road. Sure would like to have you. Amen. It's time we quit being bashful. If we was going to a ball game, we'd ask somebody to go with us. Amen. If we was going somewhere else, we'd ask somebody to go with us. Amen. Amen. Time for the church, the church to turn around and say, hey, where do you go to church at? Amen. Now, I know there's a lot of, I know Dutch Valley's here this morning. And hear me, if you're down in that area this morning, Knoxville, that's a good place to lie. Amen. Uh, uh, there's good people down there. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you right now, amen, I'm thankful. Uh, people, it, it's time that we witness it. Now, he said, uh, I I know where that's at. He said, uh, you know David Collins? I said, I sure do. Amen. I said, you better stay away from him. <laughs> Amen. He, and he said, does he still live up there where he used to live in that big old long driveway? I said, yeah, boy, he's a laying away right here. I said, yeah, and you turn right back around, you go down the road. I said, you remember crossing them railroad tracks? He said, yes, I do. I said, that little red church up there on the hills where I'm talking about. <laughs> Amen. And I, I, wore, I, I hope he walks in here one day. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm telling you right now, Hey, we're drawn to the end. And if the world don't get a grip on some things, amen, and teach our people how to live, hey, hear me, sin comes in. Amen, everybody in here. That's why I'm, I'm thankful we ain't a judge of church. Amen, you can be what you are. Amen. And a lot of people don't like it, I know. But I'm going to tell you right now, listen, I'm glad to be part of Johnson's Chapel. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hurry, Green. No. <laughs> We gotta get a grip. Our people are dying. Our people is falling right off into a pit. I'm gonna hurry now. Judas walked with the Lord and betrayed him. I say it all the time. I say it all the time. The church house is full of people that's not going to heaven. Uh, and, and, and the people don't believe it or, or they would change the way you live. Mm -hmm. They'd change the way you love. They'd change the way you treat people. It puts a desire in your heart. Whenever I ain't here, I want to be here. I had the question asked to me just this week. They said, Greg, what, what's going to happen, hey amen, if, if you just decide not to come like some of them do? I said, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Let me lay out tonight. I can get him to preach. Let me lay out Sunday. I can get him to preach. Let me lay out Wednesday. I'll get you to preach. Let me lay out. I'll get you to preach. And you. Let me do that about a month, and there's going to be somebody here saying, Who's great? But when the people of the church lay out, it don't matter. That's okay. We got to get a grip. We're going to have to get a grip on ourselves. You've got to show yourself to live for God. Amen. You've got to put a want to in you. It's up to you. It ain't up to nobody else. Amen. If I come tonight, it's come. Listen, when I went to bed last night, Robert, I had this morning on my mind. Amen. And when I got up this morning, after I've done what I've done, I've got tonight on my mind. And before I even sit down, and before I even do anything else, you know why? Because the Lord put something in me. There's people dying and going to hell all around us. Amen. I've kind of went a different way this morning than what I thought. Uh, but I'm glad, even though in a fallen world, uh, and the foundation looks like it's crumbling, uh, amen, listen, uh, uh, we need the anointing uh, of the preaching uh, of the Word of God, uh, amen, we need the power of God, uh, amen, somebody said, I'm going to hurry now, uh, amen, I'm going in, uh, amen, somebody said, uh, hey, listen, uh, you ask people, will you go, you go down there, I've been marked by some people, uh, amen, you go to church down there, amen, listen to me, them people down there are weird, uh, hear me, amen. Them people that are weird. Hey, hey, hear me? They wash people's feet. They anoint people with oil. Amen. They believe in living right. They believe in being saved. Amen. That church down there, they just let anybody that wants to come just walk right in. Hallelujah. You ought to be glad. Amen. That you're a church that says whoever you are. No, hear me now. I want to be loud and clear. No matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, no matter anything in your life, 
uh, that's upside down. You hear me? Uh, amen. You're welcome here at Johnson's Chapel. Amen. Uh, amen. I'm going to say it. I said it like Thunder. Uh, I don't care uh, how long your hair is. Uh, I don't care about your tattoos. Uh, I don't care what you are. As uh, long as you don't come in here uh, in a bikini. Uh, I'm telling you right now. Uh, you hear me? Uh, uh, people, uh, uh, people are turning everybody away. Uh, and they don't want them in the house of God. Uh, amen. I believe with all my heart. Uh, amen. Thank God. Uh, surely I've got somebody in the house uh, that'll say thank you, Lord, for a little church uh, that loves sinners. Uh, amen. Hear me. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now we're going home. Uh, amen. I love the sinner man uh, because I was a sinner man. Uh, amen. A uh, church's thing. Uh, uh, people's got to be perfect. Uh, amen. To come to the house of God. Uh, amen. I don't allow perfect people in here uh, because they ain't uh, no perfect people. Uh, uh, we're all sinners uh, uh, saved by the grace of God. Uh, uh, we've all fell and come short. Uh, I told a man this very week. Uh, I said when you open your closet, uh, you can put down on this and over here. Uh, you can put down on that and over there. Uh, uh, when you walk home, uh, open your door. Uh, and what skeletons in your closet? Uh, hey man, I'm not into backbiting. Uh, I'm not into this going around this and that. And, uh, I don't like it. Uh, that's not welcome here. Uh, uh, clicks ain't welcome here. Uh, I want to get a grim. Uh, I love everybody. Uh, I love the white man. Uh, I love the black man. I love the Chinese people. I love the Mexican people. I love those in Belize. I love Japan. I love Africa. I love the people of every war. Amen. Before you'll get to heaven, if you've got any hate and bitterness in you, and you will not go. The Bible says you've got to love your brother if you love God. Amen. 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 We'll activate a moment of silence. <laughs> Bless you. We've got to get a grip. And if we will, I know a lot of people. I've got good friends. I've got good friends that's got problems with alcohol, drugs. People's even talked about me because of some of the people I work. <laughs> it's okay. Listen. Why would you work then? You go try to find some help somewhere and see who you get. Amen. Amen. Open you up a business, say I'm going to harm me about 15 or 20 men. I'm going to go to work tomorrow. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I hope you make a million where you can give the church 10%. <laughs> but I've got some sad news for you. You ain't going to get them. Mm -mm. And if you do, you'll have to start them out at $50 an hour. Yep. And then they're going to whine because you make them do this or that. Amen. It's okay. Well, my popularity is going down today. <laughs> I want you to understand if we don't get a grip on some things and on our life we're like a snowball headed downhill and we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger I welcome I think somebody said the Honda Hoops coming the motorcycle the motorcycle riders they're fixing to be a moving through. I'm going to put on my sign, all bikers welcome. Amen. 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 You want to take a little cruise up the road? You need to go to church some more? Come on in. Amen. Right. Amen. Come on in. You'll be hugged and loved. Amen. That's right. I'm telling you right now, you can pick and choose your way straight to hell. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm welcoming you this morning with open arms. Yes. The pastor is saying it to the world, come as you are. It's our job to throw the line. I preached a message one time about casting the bait. Yep. Anybody in here like to fish? 
Sometimes them little wormy red worms, you'll put them on there and you're after them little blue bees. <laughs> they little wobble around. Then sometimes when you get real serious, right? Like you do. <laughs> you don't want to fool with that kind of fish and you go after the bass. You use a different bait. I'm telling you this morning, there's all kinds of fish floating around out in this world and I've got a line <coughs> cast for every one of you. We get them here and the Word of God will fix it. Amen. It's time to get a grip. That's been my message to you, <coughs> Kathy. If you will, I've been too long. This morning, if something's got a grip on you, it would be a good time to get it fixed. Does anybody ever have a fleshly desire? Hold on just a minute, Kathy. Does anybody ever have a fleshly desire? <laughs> Is this something you're really weak in? Oh, we'll, we'll look at people as, we'll put the, we'll put the murderer out in. He's, he's a vilest man you never have. Does anybody ever desire to do wrong when they know to do right? Praise God, we's a lot of holy people in here. <laughs> Every now and then I've got the wrong desire. Amen. Amen. You've got to learn how to live. You've got to learn how to put it under subjection. You've got to learn to say, devil, go away. These things in your life that some people's been into that draws just like a rope pulling. And if you don't listen to what God says, it will destroy you. Amen. 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 Now, don't you know I love you this morning? But Jesus loves you more than I do. Go ahead, sis. What about it? Does somebody need to pray? Appreciate Kenny Sweeney. 
he made a donation to our building fund, and uh, I appreciate him uh, for what he's doing. I appreciate Cynthia Hines. She gave her monthly tithes. Uh, I appreciate her. This young lady, at the end of every month, she gives what the Lord's given, gives 10% to our church. That ought to I told Dad this morning, I said, I want to pray on the offering, Dad. It's hit me this week. There's going to be a lot of things changed around here. I believe, I believe, how many want to, wants to move forward? And move up here? Amen. Amen. I believe it's just as important for Dad to pray Starting right now, and pray about every song we sang tonight. I'm talking about getting a grip. I believe it's just as important for somebody in the audience to say, God, ever who's given 10% of their money, I don't preach about money, but we ought to pray that God would bless them with a raise. They've done turned their heart over and said, God, what I have, if it... <laughs> I remember, hallelujah. you got 30 more minutes. <laughs> I remember where the little lady give her mic. That's all she had. I believe we need to start praying God, those that's been in, associated with the church and all those people that's on Facebook that's donating to the church, I pray God that you bless them, give them a raise, give them a good job. Those that's decided, amen, that they're going to give their part to Jesus. Amen. 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 I, 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 I think I think that the Sunday school teachers need to pray about every lesson. Amen. I think the preacher needs to pray about every message. And I pray that, boy, I, I have made somebody, you just sit through the whole service and I mention money and now you're upside down. <laughs> but I believe if God gives you a hundred dollars and you give him ten dollars, I don't, I'm not saying you'll be a millionaire, but he's going to bless you with whatever you need. Amen. I've tried him, ain't you? Yes. Been through the park. I better leave that right there before some of you get up and walk out. Let's read this, let's read this card. And we're going to go. It says you are thoughtless and appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much for everything you've done for us. It was greatly appreciated, especially the prayer. Please continue to pray for our family. It says love, Della and family. So let's do keep remembering her before her husband has died. I'm going to read the prayer list. I appreciate it. I've got all kinds of notes and messages here. This coming weekend is going to be a our festival, our car show, you go back to Chris, okay? In Charlie. April the 20th, from 10 to 4, they said everyone come out and fellowship with us, eat and enjoy music, uh, and uh, carry out food. There'll be music on the stage. There's going to be a live auction, a silent auction, crafts and vendors, barbecue, baked beans, and coleslaw, and the pepper and onions and sausage. And hot dogs and hot mud cake, hallelujah. <laughs> be funnel cakes and popcorn, snow cone, face painting, and there's going to be a bounce house. And then and they're having a bake sale. Uh, everyone brings something, a cake, pie, whatever you want to do. Hey, Gene, please don't put a cherry yummy yum in there. <laughs> <laughs> or a chocolate pie. <laughs> It, it, it's it, it, things just going outrageous anymore. <laughs> and I <laughs> invite somebody to come. It's going to be a fun day. And let me read this. Let's remember the lost in Israel. Buddy Default. Won't remember his uh, husband, <coughs> cousin's husband, Billy. Amanda Clapton, her request. Connie Irish and family. Wanda Fry and her family. Her mom. 
make this hire on family, Gail and family, Naomi Terry and her family, Melissa Bailey, uh, the friend uh, Nicole's son, let's remember that, Jean and Jeanette and Angie, Karen Brogan family, Marquita Merkel and family, Ricky Atkins, uh, Mindy Ange's sister and Riley, Tony Strange and family, Lorena Thompson Jackson, Bessie Gold Young, Pete Erickson family, Randy and Marta Beeler, Debbie Colnett, Debbie Nicely Hobson, Beverly Miner, Kimberly Hensley, uh, Tony Aker, Sharon Winkler, Trish Brown and her family, Brenda Campton Blankenship, Carolyn Leonard and family, Amy Beeler, uh, Terry and Brad Hill, uh, Benny Goins, Sandy and Jacob Riley, Brad Needham, his family, Doug Davis. <coughs> I got Terry on here, but she's in the house this morning. Let's thank God one more time. Remember <laughs> Rand Pauline uh, Green, Robert Sandy's grandson, Billy and Jeremy, and Tyler Hodge, David Conant, Rick Coffey, uh, April Warren, her family, Greg Malstock, Kenny Sweeney, Rodney and Crystal Pratt's request, Candy Nicely. Ashley Hankins and the baby. I still keep remembering Abigail Daniel Douglas where they've lost their baby. Uh, Keith Lamb, Rick McGinnis, J.J. Coffey, Laura Rector, Margie and Larry Brooks, David Hill and his family, Tammy Meek and family, Kevin Williams, Ryland White, Linda Leonard, Marvin White, uh, Lloyd Riley, Earl Harwell, Junior <coughs> Harrell, Ronnie Harrell, Richard and Jesse Milton, Dorothy Baldwin, uh, it's member Doug at Cooks, the Johnny Jones family, Jerry Atkins, Travis Breeden, Lisa Gilbert, the family, Tammy Lee Bustle and family, and the four year old girl, Jeff yeah. Jesse. It's member Ma <coughs> down in the Philippines, it's member Isaac Nafta, Corey Malik, Wanda Brown, Michelle Roberts, Dorothy Collins, Debbie Walker's uh, grandchildren, Doug Strange, Michelle Mann, Norma Muncy, Tracy Treese. Remember our community revival, the 24th of this month. Yes. Doctors, our nurses, police officers, firefighters, all the first responders, men and women fighting for our freedom. Let's do remember our farmers and truck drivers. Let's remember the leaders of our country. Greg, Lloyd Bradley passed away yesterday yeah. evening, so remember that family. Let's do remember that. I'll, I will uh, I'll take that. Appreciate that, sis. Greg, remember Chris and Angie, they had to take John to the ER this morning, so remember that. Let's remember Chris and Angie. Been a good place to be at. Amen. Amen. Had some awful good singing. Let's give them a good warm welcome, man. We appreciate the, the visitors this morning. I hope, big man, that you come back to see us. We need you. Yes. yes. Amen. We need you to be part of the church. Amen. And... I'd like to say real quick. Yeah. All right. I, I'm, we said we're starting to put our best foot forward on Wednesday nights, and and uh, we want it to be something everybody wants to come to and enjoys. But most importantly, learn about God and deepen our relationship with God. But there's been a lot of people already doing that. Uh, we have youth a couple of times a month on Wednesday night. This past Wednesday night, I showed a picture in Sunday school. We had 33 out there. Amen. And I just want everybody that helps with the youth, just come up here a minute and we're going to do something. Just take a second. But I want to show you something. Uh, come on. Everybody wants to go home. <laughs> everybody that helps in youth, come up here a minute. Don't be shy. Come on. Come on, sis. Yeah, you help us. And then we've got some Misty helps with the youth out there on Wednesday, and Daniel comes out there with us and helps. Now, uh, all of our youth that's here this morning that was here Wednesday night, come up here a minute. I ain't going to embarrass you too bad. These teens is going to kill me. Hey, come on. you all, Even you teenagers, all right? Come up here. Uh, but we're teaching them, uh, we're using a timeline and teaching them, and we're trying to teach them some memorization about the Bible and some things. Uh, this, this past Wednesday, uh, we taught them on the plagues of Egypt and did a Bible lesson on it. And, and all of them, I hope, uh, left there. How many of you adults have memorized all ten plagues of Egypt in order? How many can do that? 
<laughs> All right, kids, you ready? Come, come back to the bar. You on? All right. Who remembers it? Everybody remember it? Well, I may be in trouble. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Everybody, come on, say it with me. I ain't gonna say it. I'll see if you know. What's the first play? Say it being loud. What is it? Blood. What's the second one? Cross. Third. Plus. Fourth.